there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hi. I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, evening, overnight, morning, all of that good stuff. Um, I have an unboxing for you. This is going to be a fairly quick just kind of pop-up unboxing, but I haven't seen um, a lot of people unbox or take a look at this particular product. It's fairly new, so I figured, let me go ahead and do that. So. Um, when this showed up at the door, I was kind of shocked by how big the box is, so we'll see how big the thing is inside. Um, but I'll give you a quick kind of backstory. Um, I have a kit coming in that's going to be a cross-stitch conversion project that I'm considering doing for summer with the Masters, and it's a pretty large kit with over 250 colors. So I was trying to think of a good solution to... Um, to store all of those drills in a way that's all in one place and easy access, all that good stuff. So I've always used the art.storage containers. I've got them in their 60 piece size here. I've got them in their one, uh, 120 piece size or container size here. Um, I recently got the 240 piece here. Um, which I'm also planning on using for some kind of cross-stitch conversion, but I didn't have anything that was 250 plus, you know, containers. Well, Art Dot recently released over the past couple of months, I'd say, this bad boy, which is a 420 uh, container storage set. So I decided to go ahead and snag it, make the investment to give it a shot. I think I'm going to be doing future projects, uh, you know, projects in the future that have a lot of colors. And even not, I can probably, from what I'm thinking, is fit several whips, um, drills in one container. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. I anticipate this being pretty straightforward in a, you know, a nice quick short video. But like I said, I haven't really seen anyone unboxing this large um, 420 piece set. So um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh my goodness, this thing is big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is definitely not something that you can just like take around with you. Oh, it is heavy. Oh my gosh. The box says 10.1 pounds. Holy moly. Okay. So now that that's out of the box, I may be able to zoom you in a little bit. Let's go ahead and see. Just taking a look here. Yeah, let me bring you down one moment. Okay, cool. I had you like sky high in the air, but now that it's out of the box, it's a little easier to zoom in. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. So yeah, this is from the brand Art Dot, and it's their 420 jar storage case. And it's the biggest one they have so far. <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing is so... It's so big. Like, take a look at this compared to what I'm usually working with, with 120. So that's the one, these are the ones that I have the most of. But yeah, this is, oh, and it's heavy. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've got in here. So I like the zippered storage container of it all. Um, I use um, easy release kind of like yard sale stickers to label all of my containers. Holy moly. That's so much. This has something weird on it. It's got some dirt or some... Oh, it's just some dust. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. <laughs> so you get one here. One big old set. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I, I need to re reorganize my table if I'm going to have all of these out. So you also get... Some little stickers. I don't use these because they're not easy release, so they leave a little bit of residue on the container tops. So I stopped using these pretty early on. Then you get um, a nice a bunch of hunks of wax. I guess I can open this up. So you get a bunch of wax in here, pink wax, which is nice. Um, you get even more stickers, it looks like, in here. Yep, you got another little bit of stickers. You get one, two, three, four diamond painting trays some plastic tweezers, a nice little boat, um, this little thing that you can use for like uh, straightening your drills, and then um, a little mini boat, two mini boats, my apologies, two mini boats, and a bag of baggies. So this is kind of the traditional kit. I think you get this in pretty much all the art.storage containers. Oh, 
and this guy snuck out. And here's that missing sticker. Um, you also get a funnel. I'm not a super big fan of the funnels that they send out. They're just a little kind of flimsy and I, I typically just kind of toss those or save them for if someone wants to practice diamond painting or try it out, but not a huge fan of those. So um, yeah, you get all of that inside, but you have the one set here and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 140 per, um, per sheet. Yep, that makes sense. So let's go ahead and take a look. So you get the one in the top. And I don't know how I feel about these larger. Once you get into the 240 and 420, the top section is its own deal. And then the rest of them are in this like second layer of the layer cake. I don't know why they don't just put all of them together. Maybe it's for like the structure and the rigidity of the, the set itself or the case. But the other ones are gonna be here and here. So does that make sense? So 140, 280, Three, yep, 420, perfect. So it's three of these big, huge um, containers, but I love that they're the nice deep containers. These are a larger size container. So they hold, I think it, they say it holds about 1400 drills. So what I'll do is I'll just go through and mark um, on a sticker, a round sticker, the DMC, and just do it in order of DMC. That way when I'm um, selecting the symbol on Pattern Keeper, or Markup RXP or whatever I'm using, it'll pull up the DMC. I just go and find it and snag it. But these are so big that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna put them on the table all at once. Um, so interesting, interesting. I, I like the fact that I'm gonna be able to keep all of my drills for that project all in one place. This is a little unwieldy. This is a little bit of a cumbersome container, but you, what I was saying is you can also, Let's say you've got three medium-sized kits, you know, and each of them has like 60 colors or something like that. You could do a kit here and then a kit here and then a kit up in this top one and have three kits going. Um, just as long as you remember which one is which, I'd probably suggest laying the legend on top of this. That way you know this one's for that kit, this one's for that one. So you could find some ways to organize it, but yeah, you could get, you know, three different kits all in one and that might actually be a space saver as opposed to having, um, let's, see, let's see what three of these, one, two, and three. So like three of those versus one of that. I mean, honestly, it's not that much of a difference, but you see what I'm saying? You, it gives you a different option. And I think this one big one is cheaper than three of these. So if you want to go for something where you could hold multiple kits in one, big old storage container you absolutely could um but yeah i just you know a project that's gonna have 255 colors i'm probably gonna want a really enjoy having something like this that can hold everything i don't have to have drills stored in a separate place um to refill they'll all just live right here i kind of like that i'm not i'm also not someone that stores my you know extra bags like let's say a kit has 10 bags of 310 I like to kit up all 10 bags and just have them in front of me. Um, I guess I can give you an example. Um, here we go. So for instance, this one, you can see here, this is Cozy Evening um, by Abraham Hunter from Diamond Art Club. So I just tuck the legend and the little small sticker. I just tuck that right in there. And then I just, with, with the regular kits, that have a legend that is numbered. So not, I, I can go off the number and not the DMC, right? So I just label them one, two. You can see I've got two canisters of three, three of six, two of eight. So I, I kit up everything. It all gets kitted up. So I don't have any drills for this kit living somewhere else. So I like having the space, um, the storage containers to do that. And this will definitely do that. The only, the only thing I'm thinking is like, oh, what if I get it to the size of a kit that has like 300 colors or something like that, or a, an incredibly massive, you know, kit 
that requires even more space than what this can provide. Um, if that happens, then um, I, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, maybe I'll have to get a second one of these or something. But yeah, this is the Art Dot um, 420 uh, container storage case. I believe this was on Amazon for $89.99. So definitely not a cheap product or inexpensive product, but I think it's gonna help to control the chaos when working on such a large kit. Um, and you could use it as three, maybe even more um, smaller sizes and put different projects in one set. So when you think about it like that, it's, it's a little bit more reasonable, but it definitely is um, quite the um, initial upfront investment, but I'm really excited about it. It feels nice and sturdy. It feels just like my other ones. It's very heavy, um, and I can only imagine how much heavier it's gonna be when it's filled with drills. Uh, but you'll see this in future videos, probably sitting off to the side as I'm doing the whip and chat or time lapses or stuff like that. And I'll continue to comment on my experience with it, but I'm hoping that's gonna be similar to my other art dot storage containers or storage sets. And I've been very happy with all of those. So let me know if you have any questions comments if you want me to go into any more detail than I did. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. And uh, yeah, happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye! 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 bye.